could see him laying on our bed and he was right face down. And I just, I, I just ran to him thinking, I've got to get him off his face because it's just not, it's just not right. And I, and then when I lifted him up, he had a, a page of a book stuck on his face from, from the blood that came out of his nose. I just wanted to, to make the call to 911 just for, just to have two more minutes of hope. My, na my name's Linda, Linda Nichols, and um, and I'm uh, in my middle 50s, and uh, and uh, three years ago, four years ago, July uh, 16th, my uh, my son Jeff, who um, was a beautiful young man, died of a drug overdose. And I. I know that Linda and Carrie both think that there was something they could have done. I don't think so. There was nothing he could, they could have done. One day I was sitting with him and he looked at me and this is when he'd been clean for a couple of months and just started being with Carrie and he was looking healthy again, and he just looked at me and said, I love Coke. Well, I mean, I, I could just hear his voice when you said, I love Coke. It just sounded so much like him. And it just isn't like, it was just hard to hear that. I know. I mean, I knew that was there. I mean, I think he even said that to me. <laughs> What's more meaningful to me is just to hear about, you know, you. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. You know, Carrie, you and, and, and John, you were the people that were right there with me at the moment of facing Jeff's death. And I remember how we just got together and we stayed together as a unit. We weren't even out of each other's sight for, I think, three or four days. We barely, barely left the room without each other. And... Uh, and so, and since then, we've kind of developed our own lives, but then coming back together, being here and, and having Mike here um, with us, kind of, I think, Mike holding, a, holding us all together here and keeping us on the ground, <laughs> um, is, is um, it's, like a blo it's like a blossom for something that I think, I think began to grow in when Jeff died. Yeah. Was it like li you listening to us do it's, all this? It's really here? neat. It's really neat just to, just to be here and to, and to hear it, you know. Like, I, I knew this much about what had happened. Mm. And now it's, it's like I'm, I'm reading a book, but I get it in color and mm -hmm. sound and light and it's tears. Mm -hmm. When Jeff died, I was pregnant with our with our daughter, and so out of out of our relationship, Maxie, you are you are a huge gift. Um, that the the purpose of a loss in a person's life has to do with freeing the soul for the work that the soul has to do. Uh, this being here together, making this documentary as a realization of something that was born out of uh, Jeff's death. Uh, it's, it's just, so, so the, the finished 
piece is is is, is important, and it's I think really um, the process of, of being here with you guys, John, Linda, and, and you, Mike, is is really um, is really what's precious to me. To, to, just to really be present and be clear with people and current. And, and do it now, do it today, say it today, feel it today.